Good evening, my dear students. Good evening. How are you this evening? How was your day at work? Hey, can you hear me? Good evening, no teacher. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy to see you. Well, we're going to start doing what is first, right? Giving the, the welcome to the students and also taking the attendance. So remember to say present or here, okay? So let's start. Let's start with the first person on the list is... Who's the first person on the list? Do you remember? You don't remember who the, per the first person in the list is? Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Hello. I say present. Present. <laughs> okay. Alfredo Rodas. He's not here. Carla Maritza Sanchez. Carlos Walberto Rodriguez. Cristina Roxana Romero. Present, teacher. Domingo Alexander González. Presente. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. José Matías Lemus. Presente. Corriendo, Estoy. venía. No, me a las siete, salí a trabajar. I'm sorry, Karina y Emilia Espinosa Ventura. Marco David Velázquez Vázquez. Presente, chair. Marlon Cardona Valencia. Presente. Mauricio Majano Escobar. Maidele Judith Díaz Rivera. Presente. <ríe> Esta de oyente, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Uh, what about Nancy Lisa Rodriguez? Present. Rocío Maritza. Salvador Edgardo Escobar. Present. Okay. Híjole. Alexander dice que no hay luz, dice. En la Bye. casa de él. Vaya. Sandra Velázquez. Present. Victor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel González. William Eduardo Pérez. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here hey, on time. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita bien lento preguntan los nombres, ¿verdad, teacher? Pero a las 10 de la noche, Matías. Sí, no. <risa> Domingo. Yo aquí ayudándoles. Ok, guys. Um, today we're going to... Oh, Rocío is already here now. Rocío. Katia. Oh, teacher. Present. Present. <risa> ok. Now, guys, uh, let me share the screen for you for today's class. I, I forgot to send it. I forgot to send the class before. I'm sorry, guys. Today you will have to take a screenshots, right? Let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. But this is not the screen that I want to share. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Give me a second.
Okay. Does somebody know the topic of today's class? Hello. We studied the simple pass. Okay, that was yesterday. And what about today? Today. Ah, today. Do you know? Today, I don't know. I don't know. No. And now, can you see the? Can you see my presentation? Yes. Okay. So we're working on you need uh, to socializing, and today's topic is talking about your company vocabulary practice. So the activities will be based on this objective. The class will be able to engage in a small talk using a variety of topics, using socializing vocabulary. So we're going to learn today how to start conversations in working environments. Okay, and we have the following activities. I would like um, a person to read the activities. So Salvador, could you please give us the privilege to read the agenda? Um, what up, true or false? Activity one, a small talk. Activity two, listen, listening practice. Activity three, time of work. Activity four, what, what up? Wrap up. Okay, thank you so much, Salvador. So with the first activity, we have this game guessing about if it's true or if it's false. Then you're going to learn about small talk. Okay, we're gonna discuss about that a little bit. And then we're gonna have a listening practice in which you're going to listen to two people talking or three people talking about uh, conversations in workplaces or in working environments. Then you're going to have your time to work and practice conversations. And finally, you're going to have the wrap up. So the warm up is about true or false. Um, in this activity, you will have some statements and you have to tell me if the statement about myself, about me, is true or false. They are about the activities I did today. Okay, so tell me, I had pasta for lunch, true or false? Five, False. True. four, three. <laughs> uh, False. Who said, who said False. true? False. False. Raise your hand if you say it's true. Raise your virtual hand if you think it's true. Levante su mano virtual si creen que es cierto. True? Nobody. You think it's false? Oh, uh -huh. Domingo says it's true. And Matias. Okay, you are correct. Yes, I had pasta for lunch today. Very good. The second, I could exercise before class. Is it true or false? True. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> it's false. I couldn't exercise before class. I wish, I wish I could have the discipline, but I can't. So, no, that's false. I'm sorry, Katya. And the number three, today I bought some vegetables. Is that true or false? True. False. I'm sorry, Katya, it's false. Today mm. I didn't buy any vegetables, but I did yesterday, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, now it's your time to work. I'm going to assign you in groups and you have to create uh, at least three sentences or, or more, okay? In the sentences, one can be true or one can be false. 
and the others true, okay? You decide. But they have to be about things you did today, today, okay? So use your creativity, use your imagination, use ver verbs in the past tense, in the simple past, and create your sentences, okay? And then you're going to share your sentences with the classes, with your, in the class with your classmates, and they have to say, that's true or that's false, okay? Is it, is it clear, guys? I understand, teacher. You understand? Or not? No. No, teacher. I spoke so fast. <laughs> okay. First, no, understand. Teacher, no sé si soy yo solo la que no le entiendo, pero me gustaría que también nos tradujera porque. O sea, hay cosas que, palabras que no, no sé ni qué es lo que está diciendo. Yeah, no sé si that's, that's normal when you start learning a new language, but with time you get accustomed to it. ¿Ok? Al principio es normal que no entienda al 100%, pero se va acostumbrando y después va a ver que Ya no es necesario que yo diga algunas cosas en español. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien puede decirle a la clase qué es lo que entendió que vamos a hacer? Íbamos, íbamos, lo que yo entendí. Yes. Que quería que hiciéramos algo que habíamos hecho en el día, que, que hiciéramos, los preguntáramos si era falso o verdadero. Uh -huh. Entonces, digamos, para algo, algo que algo que describí que digamos si algo por ejemplo no sé cómo decirlo en, en inglés pero como diga I I work en cómo se dice ese tarde en until late late ajá llegar tarde al trabajo algo así o I arrive late to work ajá, ajá. 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 cabal entonces, entonces van a escribir oraciones tres oraciones verdad Pero de esas tres puede escribir una falsa y dos verdaderas o dos falsas y una verdadera. ¿Verdad? Luego las van a compartir en su grupo y los, sus compañeros tienen que decir if it's true or if it's false. Traten de hacerlas creativas, no sé, chistosas, funny sentences. I don't know. Oh, and difficult, ok? A little bit difficult for your classmates. Muy bien, entonces para eso van a usar verbos en pasado, por, como los que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? En pasado, en past tense, porque estamos hablando del pasado, sí. aunque haya sido este mismo día, pero ya pasaron, ¿verdad? Right. Entonces, hoy sí. Cristina, ¿y sí ya tiene una mejor idea? Yes, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Ok. So I'm going to assign you in groups. Teacher, teacher, si se llegara a ir la luz y me salgo hasta que venga, podré entrar porque está lloviendo fuerte. Bueno, si sí, aquí ya va, ya va también a llover. Ok. Teacher. Uh -huh. Vamos a mandar al grupo. Sí, entra en el grupo. Please. Okay. Miren qué bonito el piano de, de Salvador.
you are creating your sentences, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's good. Let's see, both. Ahí voy ahorita. Wow, guys. Ah, ya Hi, right, teacher. The raining is coming. The raining is coming. <laughs> and he only lightning. Yes, in this moment, yeah, I could I could hear the thunder. Uh, yeah, the thunder. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, are you creating the sentences about your day? Yeah. Um um the pass of by is both teacher yes you wrote it correctly on the chat all right ah, okay okay it's right yes okay all right <laughs> any other question Era. uh no no i'm not the I know. You don't have. You don't have any questions. Okay. No. See you later. ¿Cómo me dice la que íbamos a anotar? Salvador, your piano Hi, is really nice. <laughs> Can you play the piano? Yes, teacher. Wow. I play the piano. You should, you should play the piano for us. Le digo que debería de tocar el piano para nosotros. Un día será. One day, one day, the last one day of the day. class. <laughs> Okay, um, are you working on your sentences? Yes, teacher. Okay, ¿cuánto llevan? Three sentences. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia el verbo pertenecer en pasado? Belonged. Belonged. Teacher. Yes, Santa Pregunta. Three statements. ¿Cuándo? Three. Ah, ok. Ok, si ah, you have any ah, questions, guys. Uh, no questions, teacher. Um, yeah. I will start, sir. You're going to start? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I belonged uh, to the Salvadorian Red Cross. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I went swimming now. Today. Today. Yeah. Ahora. Today. Today. Now today, es como okay. que ahorita, en este momento. Ah, okay. Pero hoy fui a nadar, sería I went swimming today. False. No, it's true. It's true. Where, where did you go swimming? Hi. Where did you go swimming? A pool, the pools, the beach. In the San Lorenzo River. 
San Lorenzo River. And where is San Lorenzo River? Uh, in Atiquizaya. Atiquizaya. Where do you live, Salvador? In I live in Chalchuapa. So it's, it's, it's near. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. And the last statement? Um, I was I was with two girls two, two girls today in the afternoon. Can you repeat me? Um, I was with two girls. <gasps> <laughs> I think. That's true. No. And no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe they were your cousins, your sisters, or your or your daughters. We don't know. No. It's false. Okay. Okay, now let's listen to Alba and Nancy, okay? Yes. Hey teacher. Alba y Uh, voy a preguntarle una Nancy, a ver, teacher, si le, le he hecho bien mm, vale. Nancy, deje hijo un toque Christmas is celebrated in August two or four perdón, ¿cómo fue? ¿cómo fue? <laughs> Christmas is celebrated in August True or false? No, 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 no. 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 No, Esta no sé si está bien redactada. You drank alcohol last night. I drank alcohol last night. Ajá. True. True or no, false? just kidding. <laughs> True or false? Mm. Pues la verdad no le entendía la pregunta, pero no es una pregunta. True. Solo tiene que decir si es cierto o falso. I drank, I drank alcohol last night. Ah. Venado, eh, vodka, troika, I don't know, <laughs> muñeco. Etílico. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, continue practicing, guys. I'm going to visit the other groups. Okay. Nancy, la última. Sunday. O oh, on Sunday. On Sunday. On. How do you say in English? Yo trabajé el domingo. I worked on Sunday. On um, Sunday, all right. Um, worked. Okay. Like with okay, at the end. Worked. I worked on Sunday. All right. Yo lo escribo. Escrito. I worked Sunday. Okay. On. You need a proposition okay. on. Okay? Okay, okay. And Cristina? Eh, la voy a leer porque solo las he escrito. My mom Cristina, has her her No sé qué dijo Cristina. En el chat las he escrito. En el chat. Ah, ahorita las, se las leo si quieren. Mm, okay, Walter. Go ahead. My mom had her birthday yesterday and we celebrate. My son is two years old. Last Friday we eat lasagna. Lasagna. Okay, so your mother's birthday was yesterday. 
or today? My mother me tiene eso. Can you repeat, please, your first sentence? Puede repetir la oración, la primera. My mom had her birthday yesterday and we celebrated. We celebrated. We celebrated. Celebrated. Repeat, please. Celebrated. 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 <laughs> That's true. Que si es de verdad. <laughs> true or no, false? No, no lo sé. No lo sé. <laughs> ah. Si eso es verdad, te dice. Eso, eso lo escribió eso usted no, o lo escribió Cristina. No, no esas son de Cristina. Ah, ah right, right. de Cristina. Yo leí las de Cristina. Ah. La mía ya las había leído. Ah, ok, ok. Bueno, Cristina, vamos a ver. I think that is true. Your mother's birthday was yesterday. Díganos si es cierto o no. Dice que that's true. It's, ah, it's true. Ok. It's true. The next. Can you read it, Walter? My son is two years old. I think that is true. It's, it's false. false. How old is your son? We have to wait. How old is your son? If he's not two years old, how old is he? Oh, you have two, two sons. A and 14, okay. I bought a gift card to my mom yesterday. Oh, that is true. It's false. It's false, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm not good at guessing. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys, I, I think it's enough time. We're gonna go back to the class with all the people, okay? All right. Okay. All right. All right. Stop. My question. My question. Y yo aquí hablando. <ríe> y tenía el micrófono apagado. <ríe> Por eso decía que no, eso decía yo no me hacen caso. <ríe> I'm sorry. I, I said, I'm going to repeat everything I said. Good evening, Fatima. Welcome to the jungle. <ríe> And Alfredo, wow, you could connect. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So, Alfredo, yeah, the electricity is now back. Wow, I can see, I can see the some lightnings behind you. Yes, it's raining. Hasta se ven ahí los relámpagos detrás de usted. Mire. <laughs> with effects, special effects. Okay, um, very good. How was the activity, guys? Were you able to share with the class, with your classmates? Pudieron compartir, adivinar? Yeah, yes or no? Ay, no, 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 no. Ya me congelé. Guri, hello. Yeah. 
está difícil la, con las tormentas. Está bien por estar hablando de Alfredo. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I would like a person to share with all the class your statement and we are going to say if it's true or false, okay? okay. A volunteer. Y quiere compartir. Vamos a ver quién tiene cara de afligido. Todos oh, por la tormenta. It's raining very hard. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, yes teacher. teacher. Guys, can you hear me? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. yes. Tiene apagado el micrófono, teacher. Vamos a usar el chat mientras se calma la lluvia. Teacher, no es necesario que grite, teacher, no te lo escuchamos, no, no tenemos mucha lluvia. Yo tenía todo el mi que lo dijo.
Okay. It's false. It's false.
Eso es lo que a lo mejor te afecta un poco más. El ego, el orgullo de papel, de la misma área de este. La relación, que a lo mejor pasa que la temporada es tarde. Viene de todo contra uno. No, viene todo, viene todo. Yo te voy a estoy hablando que un chaval de 22 años que haga un mundial. No tiene por qué admirar a Messi. Porque seguro que la mira por la historia. Pero a día de hoy, no siento que este papel. No digo en la historia. Por qué no se puede tener 25 años. Al 100%. Y un papel. Con 22 años, al 100%. Por no puede tener papel. Por supuesto. O sea, y durante el está bien. Porque Messi es historia. Pero el papel está bien. El papel sabe que este año es. 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 El ego, el orgullo de la pena era animal.
Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. You can hear me, teacher. Okay. Uh, here you can see some of the topics on work conversation. You can talk about the, that are appropriate, that are adequate. For example, you can talk about the weather. You can talk about food. All people like talking about food. Or you can talk about weekend activities, hobbies, like different hobbies like playing video games, music, dance, sports. You can also talk about news or current events. Compliments, you can give compliments. Compliments son, son este, bueno, ay, ¿cómo se llaman esos? Eh, I, I forgot the word in Spanish. No son piropos, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se dice eso cuando usted le dice algo bonito a alguien? Cumplido. Un cumplido, correcto. Or you can talk about the job, ¿ok? So those are eh, conversations or topics that are appropriate to talk about it. At work, ¿verdad? Eso de eso sí se puede hablar. But there are some topics that you shouldn't talk about. For example, how much you hate something, because that's going to be negative. Or personal relationships. Y usted empieza a hablar, ¿verdad? De su novio. De la, de la esposa, del esposo que lo, no, no le da para la leche, de los niños, que la suegra. So that, I mean, those are topics that are very personal and private, okay? Or um, something the other person doesn't, doesn't know about. Empieza a hablar de algo que la otra persona no sabe nada, ¿verdad? Astralidad, ¿verdad? Or disconnected comments. Comentarios que no tienen nada que ver, ¿verdad? Entonces, the ability or the competency that you have to learn in this class is how to start small conversations. To break the ice. To break the ice. Um, when you are with other employees or when you are in business meetings, seminars, trainings. Vamos a ver, ¿quiénes asisten a capacitaciones, seminarios, reuniones con, con otros compañeros, con otras personas de otros negocios? Vamos a ver quiénes. Can you raise your hand? Pueden levantar la mano virtual. Ok, Katia. Vamos a ver quién más. Ahí está Nancy, Alfredo. Muy bien. Ok, thank you. Bye. A veces puede ser incómodo, ¿verdad? Cuando hay personas que no conocen. Pero uno tiene que ser cortés, amable, like polite, in the start a conversation. Tiene que acercarse a uno y empezar a hablar de algo. Entonces, ¿de qué se puede hablar? Vaya, aquí van a escribir ustedes. Good topics for a small talk. ¿De qué pueden empezar a hablar? ¿De qué pueden hablar en sus... Eh, en esas ocasiones? ¿De qué se puede hablar? What can you talk about? Uh -huh. Ya les puse ejemplos. De deportes. Ok, sports. sports. La selecta, por ejemplo. You can talk about the, la selecta, the national soccer team. Uh, the player Oh, Do yes, we. the national beach soccer team. New movie. Beach soccer team, ok. Okay, that will be a perfect topic to talk about it. Okay. Another topic? New movie. 
a new movie. Okay, very good. Another topic. In from the book. What is... I'm sorry. The book. About a book. Yeah, about a book. Okay, if the other person has read the book. Uh, also, you can talk about the food, you can talk about the weather. Hmm? Or you can about talk job. about your job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, very good. Vamos a continuar, let's continue. Netflix series. Yes, Cristina, that's a good topic. People like to talk about Netflix series. Oh, or some sometimes also people like to talk about their children. Or the coronavirus. <laughs> In this mm -hmm. moment, that's the topic. Or the president. Okay, let's see the next. Now you have to take turns to practice this model conversation with a partner. Vamos a practicar esta conversación. ¿Verdad? Tenemos. Speaker A. Excuse me, what is the conference? <laughs> uh, it's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. So um, this is a mother conversation in which you can start a small talk. Así pueden break the ice, pueden romper el hielo con algo así, ¿verdad? Excuse me, what is the conference? It's in the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. And I put this picture that it was a little bit funny for me. What's the weather like today? It's sunny. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the meaning of by the way, teacher? By the way, it's an expression that you use to change the topic. Uh, the translation could be, por cierto. Por cierto, uh, gracias. Por cierto, usted va también a la conferencia? Are you uh, attending to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, Lalita. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Va a pasar And... lista, teacher. Oh, yes, it's nine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. Ya ven que la teacher todo se lo olvida. Ya está viejita. Alba Dinora Vides. Present. Alfredo Rodas. Present. Carla Maritza. Ya no está Carla. Pero ahí estaba, ¿verdad? Acaba de estar ahí escribiendo en el chat. Carla Maritza. Bueno. No sé, eh. mira, ni sé. Ni sé. Carlos o Alberto. Present. 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 Ok. Díganlo fuerte porque no escucho por la lluvia mucho. Cristina Romero. Present. Domingo. Present. Fátima. Present. José Matías Lemus. Present. Karina Yamilet. Present. Marco David. Present teacher. Marlon Alberto. Present. Mauricio Alexander Majano. Present teacher. Maideli Yudi. Present teacher. Nancy Lizet. Rocío Present. Maritza. Present teacher. Salvador Edgardo. Present teacher. 
Sandra Yamilet. Present. Víctor David. Present. Walter Daniel. Present. William Eduardo Pérez. Present. Wow, almost everybody is here. Oh, everybody is connected in this moment. That's great. Congratulations. It's the first time that everybody's in the class connected. Yes, I'm so happy for that. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Yes. Bye. Entonces, yo creo que sí ya se calmó un poquito la lluvia, ¿verdad? Tengo que compartirles un audio, un audio que habla de um, eso, del small talk, ok, listening practice. Entonces los voy a, se los voy a poner y luego pues lo comentamos, lo que entendimos, ¿verdad? Ellos están hablando de, qué se, de cómo empezar, cómo romper el hielo, how to break the ice and start a conversation with people you don't know. Así, ¿verdad? Más cuando ustedes no hagan un trabajo, ¿verdad? Y lo mandan ahí a hacer algo. A una reunión, a una capacitación, a training, seminar, business meetings. Y usted no conoce a nadie, pero tiene que hablar. Claro, en español lo podemos hacer. But what about in English? We have to learn how to do it in English, okay? So I'm gonna uh, share with you the audio. You have to listen attentively. And then we are going to comment. I'm gonna give some opinions or comments. This is a download from BBC Learning English. To find out more, visit our website. Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Six Minute English. And with me in the studio is Rob. Hello, Neil. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, actually. The weather's been nice lately, hasn't it? Oh, yes, it has. The winter's been mild this year, but uh, according to the forecast, there might be some snow in parts of the country next week. And, you know, that's good because I love snow. We haven't seen much of it for okay, quite a while. OK, OK, OK. It's rain, isn't it? Enough, nice enough oh, okay, now. OK, OK. Enough now or they're going to think it's true that British people only talk about the weather. Right. In this programme, we're talking about conversation and how to start talking with people you don't know. In short, how to make small talk. Right. Well, small talk is what we call a polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or meaningful when meeting people socially, like at a party, for example. And in this programme, you'll learn some vocabulary about communication. But first, a question. Rob, when do babies usually start talking? Is it when they are A, nine months, B, 16 months, or C, 18 months? Oh, well, I know they start making noises at quite an early age, and I guess if that's talking, let me say A, nine months. OK, well, we'll have the answer to that question at the end of the programme. Small talk is a social skill. Some people feel awkward. It means they feel uncomfortable, embarrassed when they go to a party and don't know many people there. Liz Brewer, the author of The Ultimate Guide to Party Planning and Etiquette, knows a lot about what to do on these occasions. Etiquette is the set of rules which indicate what behaviour in a society is acceptable and what's not. Yes, the author knows a lot about etiquette. Let's listen to her advice. What expression does she use to describe the act of attempting to start a conversation with someone? You walk in a room, there's a sea of, of faces. Well, first thing we do is, um, it's the weather. We do it because we are, in fact... Breaking the ice, that is a code. That means I want to talk to you. 
It's an easy subject. It's not too penetrating. We're very private people. We don't like to give too much information. So we, we're on safe ground. We start off with the weather. If that goes well, we then take it one step further. Liz Brewer talks about breaking the ice. It means approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly conversation with them. And when you break the ice, talking about things which are not specific is the best way. You don't start a chat asking straight away where people live or what they do for a living. And as the author said, we are very private people. Private describes someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinions or share their feelings. So we need more time to open up to people we've just met. Good. So now you know what to do at a party when you don't know the other guests. Ah, uh, yeah, but Neil, there's one particular situation I'm not sure how to deal with. This is when I forget the name of the person I've been making small talk with. Ah, uh, yes, I know what that's like. You might not feel comfortable about allowing the person to realise you didn't really catch their name. It might sound rude. Yes, that's right. I don't want to sound rude, which means ill-mannered or unpleasant. The person I've just managed to approach might think I don't care. Let's see what tip author on etiquette Liz Brewer has for us. Which words does she use instead of, I have forgotten? You can say, oh... <laughs> Just your name has just slipped my mind for the moment. And they say, Paul. Oh, no, 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 I know you're Paul. It was the surname. Or they give you the surname and then you, you add the other. As I say, small talk is a code towards getting information and going further. Once you feel comfortable, then you can have these wonderful in-depth conversations. But those are the kind of things you want to probably do later. Liz Brewer says, Your name has just slipped to my mind. It's a gentler way of saying that they've just forgotten the person's name. And pretending that you knew the person's name, but you want the other name, is a clever trick. Yes, it might sound like you forgot the name, but not completely. And this author shows that you have to interact with people in a charming way. Yes. Well, my co-presenter, um, your name has uh, just slipped my mind for the moment. Come on, Rob. You know, you know it's Neil. Uh, yes, it is, Neil. Yes, just practising my social skills there. Well, I'm afraid you have to practise some other time because, well, I don't want to sound rude, but we are running out of time. Let me give you the correct answer to the quiz question now. Ah, uh, yes, you asked me, when do babies usually start talking? And you gave me three options? Yes, and the options were nine months, 16 months or 18 months. And I went for the first one, nine months. Was I right? Uh, you were wrong. The uh. correct answer was C, 18 months. Now, according to the website webmd.com, there are some milestones in speech development. At six months, your baby begins babbling with different sounds. For example, your baby may say ba-ba or <laughs> da-da. And then after that, uh, nine months, babies can understand a few basic words. Uh, at the age of 18 months, babies say up to 10 simple words. Ah, interesting stuff, and we're still learning words now, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Well, enough of the small talk. Let's remember some of the words we use today. Rob. Uh, they were small talk, awkward, etiquette, breaking the ice, private, rude, slipped my mind. That's it for this programme. Do visit bbclearningenglish.com to find more six-minute English programmes. Until next time, goodbye. Bye-bye. Six-minute English from the BBC. OK, so what are the people talking about? Well, teacher, as I can hear in the beginning, they were talking about the weather, that the projection is that it's gonna maybe snow, the country, and then about the, that they have forgot the name of the person that they, that they met. And at the end, they were talking about the babies, how they can catch maybe the information. Okay, very good, Marlon. You got many ideas from the audio. Okay, this time I'm gonna play it again and I'm gonna uh, also share with you the transcript. 
transcription of the video, okay, of the listening, so that um, you can um, listen and read at the same time, okay? And let's check if you have, uh, if you were able to understand the majority of the conversation, okay? So um, after that, I'm going to, oh, before, before you listen the second time, uh, I would like you to think about these questions. For example, the first question is, what's etiquette? Se los voy a escribir en el chat para que las tenga presente, okay? So the, one of the questions is that, what is etiquette? What is etiquette? Second question. What can you say when you don't remember a person's name? Instead of saying, I forgot your name, you can say another expression. Mm, how can you break the ice? start a conversation. And the other is, and the last question. Ay, perdonen. Este, Carlos las puede reenviar. Yo no sé por qué todos los mensajes se me van directos para Carlos. No sé cuál es el problema. No los, ¿Verdad que no los pueden ver? Entonces, no sé no, si que no los pueden reenviar. Dicte las Donde dice enviar a, quizás solo tiene seleccionado a Carlos y no donde dice todos. No, sí, y les pongo todos, pero siempre después me lo cambia Carlos. Está lento el, inter, está lento el internet, ya están cayendo, pero lentamente. Carlos, ya, ya los mandé. Carlos, no era culpa. Ay, es kidding, Carlos. Ok, and the other is, do people... Do people share? One, two, three, four question, teacher. Yes, do people share private information the first, first time you meet them? Why or why not? Ay, perdón, start is with T at the end. Si no dice estrella, start the conversation. What's etiquette? What can you say when you don't remember a person's name? Do people share private information the first time you meet them? Why or why not? Are you ready to listen again? Or do you Wait a, a moment, moment, teacher. Okay. Wait a moment. Okay, yes. I'm going to wait. Marco, ya regresó la luz. The electricity is back. Yes, yes it's, it's come back. Y que usted se puso a cantar, baby, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of fool could sing. I listen, I listen music of David, David Bowen. Yeah, he has good music. Yeah, he's British. The English Br British. Mm -hmm. Under pressure. Okay, 
are, okay, now you're ready. So let's listen and read at the same time. Esperenme que tienen que estar cargando. It's loading. Six Minute English from BBCLearningEnglish.com. Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Six Minute English. And with me in the studio is Rob. Hello, Neil. How are you today? Oh, fine, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, actually. The weather has been nice lately, hasn't it? Oh, yes. It... Dígame, Rocío. Where is the, the conversation, right? Eh, bueno, aquí hay una transcription, pero no es eh, exactamente word by word. But it's uh -huh. to have an idea what they're talking about, okay? Pero uh -huh. la pueden escuchar. Okay, yes. okay. Okay. Has. The winter's been mild this year, but uh, according to the forecast, there might be some snow in parts of the country next week. And, you know, that's good because I love snow. We haven't seen much of it for okay, quite a while. Okay, it's okay, okay. rain, isn't it? Enough, that's enough oh, okay, now. Okay, okay. Enough now or they're going to think it's true that British people only talk about the weather. Right. In this programme, we're talking about conversation and how to start talking with people you don't know. In short, how to make small talk. Right. Well, small talk is what we call a polite and informal conversation about things which aren't really important or meaningful when meeting people socially, like at a party, for example. And in this programme, you'll learn some vocabulary about communication. But first, a question. Rob, when do babies usually start talking? Is it when they are A, nine months, B, 16 months, or C, 18 months? Oh, well, I know they start making noises at quite an early age, and I guess if that's talking, let me say A, nine months. OK, well, we'll have the answer to that question at the end of the programme. Small talk is a social skill. Some people feel awkward. It means they feel uncomfortable, embarrassed when they go to a party and don't know many people there. Liz Brewer, the author of The Ultimate Guide to Party Planning and Etiquette, knows a lot about what to do on these occasions. Etiquette is the set of rules which indicate what behaviour in a society is acceptable and what's not. Yes, the author knows a lot about etiquette. Let's listen to her advice. What expression does she use to describe the act of attempting to start a conversation with someone? You walk in a room, there's a sea of, of faces. Well, first thing we do is, um, it's the weather. We do it because we are, in fact... Breaking the ice, that is a code. That means I want to talk to you. It's an easy subject. It's not too penetrating. We're very private people. We don't like to give too much information. So we, we're on safe ground. We start off with the weather. If that goes well, we then take it one step further. Liz Brewer talks about breaking the ice. It means approaching someone you don't know and starting a friendly conversation with them. And when you break the ice, talking about things which are not specific is the best way. You don't start a chat asking straight away where people live or what they do for a living. And as the author said, we are very private people. Private describes someone who doesn't like to give away their personal information, opinions or share their feelings. So we need more time to open up to people we've just met. Good. So now you know what to do at a party when you don't know the other guests. Ah, uh, yeah, but Neil, there's one particular situation I'm not sure how to deal with. This is when I forget the name of the person I've been making small talk with. Ah, uh, yes, I know what that's like. You might not feel comfortable about allowing the person to realise you didn't really catch their name. It might sound rude. Yes, that's right. I don't want to sound rude, which means ill-mannered or unpleasant. The person I've just managed to approach might think I don't care. Let's see what tip author on etiquette Liz Brewer has for us. Which words does she use instead of, I have forgotten? You can say, oh, 
Your name has just slipped my mind for the moment. And they say, Paul. Oh, no, 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 I know you're Paul. It was the surname. Or they give you the surname and then you, you add the other. As I say, small talk is a code towards getting information and going further. Once you feel comfortable, then you can have these wonderful in-depth conversations. But those are the kind of things you want to probably do later. Liz Brewer says, Your name has just slipped to my mind. It's a gentler way of saying that they've just forgotten the person's name. And pretending that you knew the person's name, but you want the other name, is a clever trick. Yes, it might sound like you forgot the name, but not completely. And this author shows that you have to interact with people in a charming way. Yes. Well, my co-presenter, um, your name has uh, just slipped my mind for the moment. Come on, Rob. You know, you know it's Neil. Ah, oh, yes, it is, Neil. Yes, just practising my social skills there. Well, I'm afraid you have to practise some other time because, well, I don't want to sound rude, but we are running out of time. Let me give you the correct answer to the quiz question now. Ah, uh, yes, you asked me, when do babies usually start talking? And you gave me three options? Yes, and the options were nine months, 16 months or 18 months. And I went for the first one, nine months. Was I right? Uh, you were wrong. The oh. correct answer was C, 18 months. Now, according to the website webmd.com, there are some milestones in speech development. At six months, your baby begins babbling with different sounds. For example, your baby may say ba-ba or <laughs> da-da. And then after that, uh, nine months, babies can understand a few basic words. Uh, at the age of 18 months, babies say up to ten simple words. Ah, interesting stuff, and we're still learning words now, aren't we? <laughs> we are. Well, enough of the small talk. Let's remember some of the words we use today. Rob. Uh, they were small talk, awkward, etiquette, breaking the ice, private, rude, slipped my mind. That's it for this programme. Do visit bbclearningenglish.com to find more six-minute English programmes. Until next time, goodbye. Bye-bye. Six-minute English from the BBC. No se lo escucha, teacher. Me apagado el micrófono. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so uh, let's discuss the question. What's etiquette? Bueno, si as yo veo que así en grupo en la casa entera les cuesta para les cuesta responder así que las voy a poner en grupos y you ask and answer the questions okay 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 teacher uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hello coronavirus no just kidding <laughs> <laughs> just kidding just kidding <laughs>
a ver por qué no han entrado a la sala. No recibimos, dicho, la invitación. Ah, ah pues permítanme. Qué raro. Hoy sí ya se las envié. Hello, Alfredo. Roxana tiene problemas con el micrófono. Yes. El Creo el que también. Creo que también, pero con el internet. No, Hello. Victor. Tiene un internet bien potente. Ok. <risa> eh, what is it? Que... Me ando subiendo en los palos para agarrar señal. Ay, sí, <risa> cómo no. <risa> <laughs> okay, so what's etiquette? What's your idea about etiquette? Mm, my answer is set of rules which indicate what acceptable behavior in the society is. Yeah, so the rules of behavior in a, that are acceptable in society. Right, for example, we have etiquettes when you eat, right? Mm -hmm. For eating in public, right? We have to follow some etiquette, right? We don't have to, you know, Funny you have enough. to use, for example, the, the, the fork, the knife, the spoon. So the same when you talk, when you talk to, to, to other people, you have to use the etiquette, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, some people need my help. Please continue answering the questions, asking and answering the questions. Okay. <laughs> Eh, necesitamos ayuda. Can I help you? Sobre sobre etiqueta. You don't remember what etiquette is? No, no le entendí, Alberto, qué fue lo que me dijo. Sí, Chester, si no le entendimos al audio. Ah, bueno. Las palabras no le entendimos. Nos puede ayudar para poder hacer la... Ok, they were talking about how you can start a conversation with people you don't know. Ok. For example, uh, they were explaining that there is etiquette for this type of communication. La etiqueta, ahora sí como hay etiqueta para comer, también hay etiqueta para comunicarse con otras personas, ¿verdad? Eh, 
and also the other question is, what can you say when you don't remember a person? Imagínese que usted está hablando con alguien, la persona ya le dijo su nombre y luego usted no se acuerda cómo se llama. De eso estaban hablando. ¿Qué puede hacer? What can you do? ¿Qué hace usted? Sería bien, se oye bien descortés decirle, mire, se me olvidó su nombre. Porque entonces uno entiende que la otra persona no le puso atención. We were not paying attention. So, uh, they use an expression that we can use, that we can say. You can say, you can say your name has just slipped my mind. Le digo su nombre de la mente ahorita. Your name has just slipped my mind. Pero lo va a hacer así como, oh, your name has just slipped my mind. Así como que, aquí lo tengo, ¿verdad? Pero se me ha ido. O cuando decimos, está en la punta de mi lengua. It's in the tip of my tongue. Eso es, es una expresión informal, ¿verdad? It's on the tip of my tongue. Eso lo estoy escribiendo. It's on the tip of my tongue. Entonces, eso, pero la primera es la, la más formal, la más educada. ¿verdad? Your name has just slipped my mind. ¿Verdad? Ahora, the other, the other question is easier. What do you think? Do people share private information the first time you meet someone? Do you share your private information the first time you see a person? Do you share, share, compartir? Do you share your private, private? ¿Qué significa private? Public and private, opposite. Public, all people is it's known in general. Private, no, it's just me. Pero si ¿sí sabe la diferencia, ¿verdad? Public and private, public y privado. Private. Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces, do people share private information the first time they meet someone? Yes or no? No se escuchaba, Alberto. No, es que está lloviendo aquí, no le... No, casi se me corta la ah, señal. No le... Bueno. <ríe> a ver, les estaba diciendo de la última pregunta. No, ¿verdad? La, no compartimos información privada la, al, en primera vez. Se necesita más tiempo para poder abrirse. To open up. We need time. Uh -huh. Va, entonces, este esta, esta ejercicio era nada más para ver cuánto se entendió del listening. Ahí les, ahí les mandé el link por el chat. Ahí lo pueden ver si quieren seguirlo escuchando hasta que lo entiendan mejor. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Hello, William. Are you there? Okay, so now guys, um, you are going to prepare a short conversation like the one in the model and you have to use different topics to initiate a small talk. Ahora usted es un momento para qué? 
hagan su conversación similar a esta. Así cortita, ¿verdad? Pero es nada más para iniciar una conversación similar, pero no van a ser lo mismo, ¿verdad? Y aquí están hablando de que si van para la misma reunión, ustedes pueden hacerlo de otro tema, ¿verdad? Como, oh, what a beautiful day today, right? <laughs> Or, oh, this, this topic is very interesting, isn't it? Así. Or, excuse me, where is the bathroom? <laughs> Algo así, ¿verdad? Oh, oh, the snacks are very delicious. Así que, imagine you are at a meeting. Están en una reunión. You are at a meeting, you are at a seminar, and there are people you don't know. Hay personas que no conocen, and you want to start a conversation. You want to break the ice. Quieren romper el hielo. Break the ice. Entonces van a hacer la, la short conversation in pairs. Los voy a asignar en pareja. Pueden tomar el screenshot right now, in this moment. Three, two, one. <ríe> y entonces luego van a pasar a, a decir la conversación, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? No sé si... Vale, les voy a escribir igual en el chat para que me... Por los que no me logran escuchar por la lluvia, ¿verdad? De hacer eh, contestarle si sí, aquí es este en que le puedo ayudar no. podría ser si sí, aquí es puede sentarse nice. uh -huh. it's nice sería espera bueno, lo voy a it's si no le quiero escribir entonces Dijimos que vos comenzabas con... Hello. 
I like you cheese. I think you're a you. We are going to do a conversation about the transfer of the player of the PSG. <laughs> okay. Hi, how are you? I am Marlon Cardona. Okay. Yes. Normal. And, and what's your name? What do you think about the soccer? Uh, or do you like to play soccer? Mm. How are you? Yes, my name. My name is Fatima. Nice to meet you. Uh, are you going to attend to this seminar? Okay. So. If you have any questions, I am here to help you. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. If you late a lot of time, if you spend a lot of time, a lot of time, do you know if you spend a lot of time? No, si se está tardando mucho para ponérsela, si, si gasta mucho tiempo, si demora wow. para ponérsela. Yes. Do you know if I spend a lot of time? Karina. The... Karina. ¿Se puede quedar sí, con la sesión de los 10 minutos? Sí, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ahí, el segundo que le ponemos, Karina. Ahí, lo dejamos no al inicio del seminario. Cristina, si me oye aquí le agregando ahí en el, en el, en el, en el chat lo, lo siguiente para hacer lo del resto. Agreguemos la... Ajá. Ah, a medias.
Guys, it's raining very hard in here. It's going to be very difficult to hear you and for you to hear me. So we're going to change the dynamics and we're going to start the conversation on the chat. Okay. I'm going to say, for example, Alfredo Comienza y su compañero la va a responder en el chat. Luego yo digo, sigue Marco y su compañero le responde en el chat. Sí, ¿comprenden cómo lo vamos a hacer? Yes. A ver, Marco. me la manita, siempre que no les oigo. Ok, ok. You start, Marco. Ok. Entonces, right. Alfredo, you start. Usted comienza y su compañero sigue la conversación. Usted le responde y su compañero le responde en el chat. Escriba, Alfredo, escriba. Esa L era de I, de I like, all right? Okay, the next person is going to be Mauricio and, and company. Pero acuérdense que tienen que dar la respuesta.
Y Fátima, ah, ahí está Fátima, no le ha contestado. Mauricio and Fatima, did you finish? Okay, the next is going to be uh, Alba. The after Alba, eh, David Salazar, Victor David Calzadilla. Después de Alba, después que Alba termine con Karina. Lo pueden empezar a typear y luego solo le dan enviar. Faltaba una teacher. Okay, do you have an idea okay. about what the seminar is about? Mauricio has to answer. Bueno, creo que para el tiempo todos escriban su conversación. <laughs> yes, it's better. <sighs> honor al tiempo. Y el don no yo paso la lista. Alba Dinora. Trece. Alfredo no está. Present teacher. Carla Maritza. Carlos Gualberto. Cristina Romero. Domingo Alexander. Present teacher. Fátima Portillo. Present. José Matías Lemos. Karina Espinosa, Marco David Velázquez, Present teacher. Marlon Alberto Cardona, Present. Mauricio Majano, Present teacher. Maideli Judith, Present. Nancy Rodríguez, Katia Maritza. Present. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Vázquez. No, Sandra Velázquez. Victor. Present. Walter Daniel. Present. William Pérez.
to finish the class. So, um, what did you learn today in this class? Sorry. Okay, the topic of this class was small talk. Okay? Como empezar conversaciones, pequeñas conversaciones. How to break the ice and talk about the company or your work. So I'm going to stay with Karina and the others. I'll see you tomorrow. Please rest well. Do your homework in the platform. The last, the last day for the midterm is tomorrow. Mañana es el último día para hacer el midterm. Así es que lo hacen. Lo hacen Okay, Karina, can you hear me? Karina, your microphone is off. Can you hear me? Karina, tiene apagado el micrófono. <laughs> Te hicieron una consulta el tema del día de ayer. Casi no mucho le entendí acerca de los verbos. La pronunciación, ¿cómo se escribe o todo? Todo. Ayer cuando andaba bien mal de salud no le entendí. Ah, ayer. ¿O ahora? Ayer. Sí, del tema que estaban hablando del día de ayer. No se preocupe. Voy a tratar de proyectarlo para explicarle mejor. Esta lluvia, ¿verdad? No deja. Vaya, Karina. Entonces, eh, ayer estuvimos aprendiendo sobre cómo, cómo formular preguntas en el simple present. Perdón, en el simple past. Eh, quizás como... Es la primera vez, ¿verdad? Que usted veía el tema. Lo sintió así, ¿verdad? Pero. Eh, quiero mostrarle acá. Aquí está. Vale. Para hacer preguntas, no sé si puede ver mi pantalla. Sí. Vale. Sin importar si es la falsa. Para eso, le vamos a usar el auxiliar did, siempre. En el presente, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos? Para hacer preguntas, en el presente. En el para hacer preguntas. Sí, para hacer preguntas en el presente, utilizamos el do o el that, si es tercera persona. Pero para hacer preguntas en el pasado, usamos el auxiliar did. Ahí lo puede ver usted, ¿verdad? Did. Después va el subject. El sujeto. Luego va el verbo. By. El verbo va en su forma base. El verbo no va en pasado. Lo escribimos o lo decimos de su forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque el auxiliar did ya nos está indicando que la pregunta es en pasado. Luego va el complemento. 
un complemento de la pregunta. Entonces ahí tenemos el ejemplo. Did you buy tomatoes today? Did she, did she go to the supermarket? Y así por el estilo, ¿verdad? And okay. the answers, yes. Luego el subject y did. O no, the subject did. ¿Me podría hacer dos ejemplos? Mm, quiero ver. Pero siempre con la palabra ti. Sí, did es un verbo auxiliar para hacer preguntas en pasado, para hacer yes, no questions en pasado. Para preguntar, vaya, por ejemplo, ¿cómo diría usted eh, um, te bañaste ahora? Quiero ver. Sería, did you? Así, mira. Sería así, el did y luego el you. Did you take, did you take a shower today? Yo le pregunto a usted, did you take a shower today? Yes. Um... Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Vamos a otra pregunta. Vamos a empezar con Did siempre. ¿A ver? Okay. ¿Algo que usted quisiera saber? <risa> <risa> eh, Did class. Eh. D class eh. Vaya, programamos esa otra mira. Did you have internet problems? Did you have internet problems in the class? Tuvo yes. problemas en okay, entonces sería yes. Yes, I problem. Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did. Okay. Now, ah. Otra pregunta. Did you go to the beach yesterday? Did you go to the beach yesterday? No, Dick. No. ¿Cómo sería? No. No. I did. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I did not. No, I didn't. Vamos a ver otra. Did the teacher go to the supermarket? Oh, no, pero Did the teacher speak Spanish in class today? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? No. Bueno, yo voy a poner aquí yes. Yes, y luego ¿qué seguiría? Yes, I did. No, porque estamos hablando de una de, de, de teacher. Ah, ok. Sería yes, she did. Vamos a ver otra. Did your mother, did your mother wash your clothes last weekend? ¿Qué dice esa pregunta? ¿Cómo no la escuché? La pregunta. Did your mother wash your clothes last weekend? Te cheque weekend. Weekend es fin de semana. Did your mother wash your clothes last weekend? Yes, I did. No, estamos hablando de your mother. Mm. 
Mm. Ahí dice, su mamá la, lavó su ropa, lavó tu ropa el fin de semana. Tu yes. mamá te lavó la ropa. <ríe> yes. yes. Vale, entonces sería, yes, que I, you, he, she, it, they, or we. She is. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Porque estamos hablando de ella, ¿verdad? Okay. Vale, ahora vamos a ver. ¿Tiene mascota usted? Eh, perro. Ok. Did your dog, did your dog eat his food? Yes. Yes, ¿qué? Yes, I am the D. No, no voy a decir I porque no es usted, estamos hablando del perro. ¿Tu perro comió su comida? <laughs> Ajá, yes. ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cuál sería el sujeto para, para el perrito? Eh, she's. She did. Ejemplo. Sí. Vale, sí puede ponerle she, pero también podemos usar el it, porque el it se ocupa para objetos y para animales. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, did, did Marco, mejor de sus compañeros, did Marco participate in class? Last Friday? ¿Participó Marco en la clase el viernes pasado? Yes. Yes. Ajá. Y luego qué seguiría? ¿Qué seguiría? Ig dig. Sería yes. ig dig. Ajá. Yes, he did. Exactamente. Yes, he did. Muy bien. Vaya, ¿ya le va agarrando el, el hilo? Sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí. Vaya. Qué bueno. ¿Me puede usted hacer dos ejemplos? Me los puede escribir en el chat si quiere. Ok. Ya se me escribe. Ya tienes oraciones, oraciones, Karina. Uh, 
ahí está. No sé si está bien eso, teacher. ¿Qué quería decir? Eh, si era absoluto en clase. ¿Si era qué? Absoluto en clase. No, no sé, no sé qué significa eso. <laughs> Voy a hacer otro. Ya me escucha. Yes, I do. <laughs> Bye. You were attending to other people. Bye. Pero para hacer preguntas, tiene que usar el be primero. Después, acuérdese que va el sujeto, o sea, la persona, ¿verdad? Después va el verbo en su forma base. Y luego va el complemento. Acuérdense para hacer preguntas en el pasado. Preguntas en el pasado. Vaya, una pregunta en el pasado. Dil, Karina, vamos a ver, Dil, Karina, Acuasa. ¿Qué quiere decir esa pregunta? ¿Cómo te Una pregunta. ¿Trabajó Karina hoy? ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es ahí, Andy? Sí, lo vamos a usar el A, ni el C, ni el C, ni nada, sino que el D. Este es el A, el D. El auxiliar, el D. Voy a ir a los más ejemplos, Karina, para que también me puedan hacer. Y también el, 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 los ejercicios que están en la plataforma los pueden hacer. Ah, bueno, está bien. Sí, voy a tratar de practicar. Para hacer las preguntas, no fuerzas, tiene que empezar con el ti. Si gusta, hágame 10 preguntas para mí. Comenzar con ti, después va la persona, después va el verbo normal, y luego el complemento. Preguntas como por ejemplo, hiciste su tarea. Comiste hoy. Eh, Llovió ahora. Puse al cine la semana pasada. Puse al supermarket el mes pasado. Puse eh, al dentista. Cosas así, pero algo que ya pasó. Ok. Mm, vale. Ok. <ríe> Usted cómo aparece en el chat del, del grupo. Fíjese que yo le he puesto como Yasuri. Ah, vaya, ah, pues sí, ah, pues sí, es usted, es que yo estaba segura, pero 
ustedes. Pero ya lo voy a cambiar mejor. Vaya, estoy bien, Karina. Vaya, pues. Have a good night, Karina. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night.